This lecture is on vulnerable populations. Vulnerable group is a subgroup of population that is more likely to develop health problems as a result of exposure to risks or to have worse outcomes from those health problems than the population as a whole. Healthy People recognizes that significant health disparities exist among different segments of the population. Many factors contribute to the vulnerability of a population. And these are a few of them. Vulnerable populations often, often share similar limited resource characteristics. Physical or environmental, including working or living in hazardous environments, personal resources like poverty and limited social support, and biological, psychological, and social resources that include illness, genetic predisposition, and limited family support. Patients become vulnerable because they have little control over critical resources that are needed to function effectively. Poverty is established by measuring and comparing family income with a predetermined index. In 2012, Wisconsin's poverty level for a family of four was established at $23,040 a year. People who are poor often live in hazardous situations like overcrowding or inadequate sanitation. They may work at high-risk jobs like migrant workers do, eat poorly, and have multiple stressors. With their health status, there may be higher rates of chronic illness, higher infant morbidity and mortality, shorter life expectancy, and more complex health problems and physical limitations. Poverty often leads to homelessness. Disabled is defined as any restriction on or lack of ability to perform an activity in a normal manner or within the normal range. In 1990, the Americans with Disabilities Act was formed. Migrant workers often have low income and migratory status. Many live in temporary housing that's often substandard, crowded, and sanitation and drinking water are questionable. They are vulner vulnerable to isolation and neglect. The fear of deportation, poverty, and limited education may intensify feelings of distrust of various segments of society. Their health status may include things like TB, hepatitis A and B, malnutrition, and occupational risks. These are some Marathon County demographics. 7.9% below the poverty level. 12% are between age 65 and 84. 2.3% are over the age of 84, with a total of 14.3%. Marathon County, 537 individuals, 417 adults, 120 children, stayed in shelters in Marathon County in 2010. Also in 2010, 18.7% of the children under 18 years of age lived at or below the poverty level. And 11.6% of families in Marathon County had an income less than $25,000 a year. Barriers include priorities and motivation. The vulnerable populations may not view health care as a priority because of feeling isolated or disadvantaged. Often, vulnerable populations can have mistrust for people and the health care profession due to previous experiences. Vulnerable populations often do not have the resources available to them to get them to the clinic or the hospital. Many do not have cars and are required to take the bus. If there is no bus system, it can be a large barrier and health care is very expensive and this is the biggest and largest barrier of all. The primary nursing interventions for community um, health nursing include working to improve living conditions in shelters, reducing exposure to communicable diseases, enhancing efforts to improve hygiene to eliminate parasitic skin conditions like lice and, lady and scabies, and immunizations like the flu, hepatitis B, and pneumonia also includes secondary interventions like screening and referral for both acute and chronic health conditions and tertiary interventions like management of chronic mental health and physical problems. Nurses should recognize and understand that the patient is an expert in their health care. Listen and learn from the patient and gather data from the perspective of them and their families. 
work to establish relationships that are responsive to the methods of the person and family for dealing with the disability. Care for the patient and family, not the disability. And it's important for you to be well informed about community resources for disab disabled persons um, and you should become a strong advocate for those resources. Healthcare needs include safety, nutrition, treatment of injuries, and current diseases, and preventative care. And finally, find out what services are available in your community. The Marathon County has Aging and Disability Resource Center, United Way, The Neighbor's Place, and Salvation Army, and many other communities have those same resources as well. And you can always jump onto the DHS website to find out more information. And that's the end of this lecture, nice and short.